Ladies and gentlemen, Poucha, welcome to what I call another event that Poucha are bringing to you. We are on the very sunny climate of Margate Beach. We've got Ugandans here having a great time. I say Ugandans and friends, they're having a great time, they're having a good time. And here today, we're bringing this to you live. Please stay tuned. Um, they've got entertainment, they've got barbecue, they've got food, they've got dancers, they've got all sorts. Today is a day for people to get together and have a good time and enjoy themselves. And Parcha is bringing this to you lively. Lively? He's bringing it to you live. Hey, hey, we'll see you in a second. Stay tuned. So we got them forever. Lexi Kensington. Zeddy. A book Empire Production. Oh, but only Kumula Mokiria. Then Colabia Fayo. Only the Kachi, Ola Kachi, who no more come up here and Colabia Fayo. Oh, but only Kumula Mokiria. Then Colabia Fayo. The organizer of the beach party in Margaret, Solomi, welcome, how are you? Thank you. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, thank you. Now, we're going to ask you a simple question. How long have you had this beach party going? Uh, this is the fifth year this beach tour is going. Yeah. And, um, well, we're, we're going on well. It's becoming a proper community now. <laughs> Do you know, all I can say is that if you look all around here, there's a lot of people here, Ugandans and friends, I'll probably say Ugandans and friends, having a great time. People, you're missing out. And you know, why did you have this, what made you come up with an organization like this? So a thing that, a, 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 you know, a thing that brings the community together like this. How did you come up with the concept? Uh, first of all, uh, it's because I'm a community person. And so I love seeing people united together for a good cause in a relaxed environment but to have accountability within our community uh, and so i found out that these such kind of tours make us unite from the coaches to the beach and to making new friends and everything here in london all right i want to ask you the most fundamental question here today where's your bikini Oh, la 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 la, my bikini. Unfortunately, I didn't have time to look for all that. All I had time for was that every coach is around, east, west, north and south of London, uniting people, and that's my main concern today. And how you're doing today? I'm having a good time, I'm having a great time. Um, after having this event, what is the sole purpose of it? As in, what I mean is that, is there something after? You know, do people get together maybe start up some sort of community event or community engagement or um, it's more of a, a fun event where people get together and have fun and, and go home after that uh, no 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 no. it's not an event of just having fun and going home this is an event of where we get to talk about each other on a one-to-one -one basis but in a relaxed way you know uh, it's just like it's about us knowing that who is a doctor in our community, who is a nurse in our community, who is a lawyer in our community. How have we made friends in London? How have we diversified? So in this area and this kind of a beach tour, we have a good cause. Today we have people who are coming to, to sell fish for um, a, just a medical camp. Just 10 fish, but that's fine to sponsor a, a certain medical camp. And we have a lot of people talking about who they are and what they do. So it's a matter of uniting people, but with a purpose, accountability and focus. Well, all I can say is, uh, Solomé, obviously you're bringing Ugandans, you know, you're bringing Ugandans together, and we are very, very proud of it. And hey, all I can say, thank you very much, and long may it continue. Thank you. What are the future plans? Oh, the future plans is um, we have another beach tour to Great Yarmouth. Remember, it's about everyone out there not staying in your house. Come and make new friends. Find out what they do. Find out how they have diversified in this country, great country, great Britain. And so 30th August, we are going to Bournemouth to watch the Airborne Show. And so please come in and be ready with who you are. The coaches, for example, have themes. We have Tusha Entertainment. We have a coach for Uncle Dad. We have a coach probably for Pal TV soon, Pal Chat Television. We will have a coach according to who people are, the Uganda Youth Forum. They have a coach. So, I mean, it's not about just one community, but uniting communities, having reason and purpose and defining ourselves in that purpose in a relaxed environment. You heard it from the lady herself, Solomon. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We're Thank gonna you. enjoy the show. Well, not the show. We're gonna enjoy the event. Can I get a discount on the barbecue? Oh yes, you can. For for you've been good to me here. <laughs> <laughs> there is a serious barbecue going on here. 
you've got Rebecca who is cooking this awesome food. You've got chicken, you've got burgers, you've got, well, I was going to say fish, but you've got something here. Anyway, we're going to be talking to Rebecca in a minute. I'm talking to Rebecca. She's one of the ladies here who's, look, who's looking after these tolls and giving us the good soul for that we need. Anyway, Rebecca, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm very, 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 very well. How do you find the weather? Weather is fantastic. It rained in the morning, but it's fine now. Thank God. Yeah, exactly. Thank God. Let's just hope it does not rain because it won't be good for us. Okay, um, Rebecca, exactly. What exactly is your role in this whole event? I'm one of the staff with Afro Night, two organizing a barbecues, beach parties, and everything. Cutting the nyamba, one serving a hubi into, and it drinks you want something to eat. Biona to be called a kosaga and yaleva rume. Cousin, so was angry. I'm going to go to Uganda now. You're going to laugh at me. Now, let me, uh, let, let me help that due to the fact that you're going to be on Power Chat TV. Yeah. I'm going to go to a discount. Yamani. I'll give you a discount, trust my word. When you come on the table, it's according to each one is, you know, pocket, so we shall talk. They're just words, trust me, I'm going to be paying full price. <laughs> no way, believe me, you're going to pay the price which is convenient to your pocket. Temufayo, I believe you will be happy. Do you know, a lot of people say that when we have events like this, yeah. and you have good food, you get everything going, the yeah. prices are too expensive. They are not expensive. If they were expensive, then we wouldn't be selling up to now. We've done it for two years and we are going to still continuing. Believe our prices, believe our people. That's why they are all crowded here. And they, we are going to do the best price for you. We don't want, you know, to sell a very expensive thing. Then our people are not happy. We prefer people being happy than us taking the money. Fantastic. Now, how can we find you apart from here? Have you got a website? Have you got a business card? Have you got something? Facebook, how can we find you? Yes, we are still updating our social e network. We have a telephone number. We've got um, Afro Night is the night we do, but we organize parties, beach parties and everything. We are based in West London. That's Hanslow, West London, and the organizer is Rebecca. Okay, okay. Are you on Facebook? Are you on Twitter? Are you on WhatsApp? Have you got a, business? Have you got a website? What do we have? Uh, definitely, our website is going to be open up very soon. I'm on um, Facebook, I'm on uh, Twitter, I'm on um, WhatsApp, everywhere you can find. Okay, okay. What are you on Facebook? Rebecca Gwaliwa yeah. at yahoo.co.com. My name, just my name. I don't change so, things. Rebecca Gwaliwa. Uh, f on Facebook. Yeah. So Rebecca, you can. Once you tap in Rebecca Gwaliwa, you get me. How do you spell Gwaliwa? J W A L I W A. You heard it from the lady herself. Yeah. She is the lady giving us the food and the drink at this uh, event, and we are having an absolute great time, awesome time. Thank you. <laughs> It's nice weather, good music, drinks, <laughs> so I'm having a good time. Fantastic, Joanna. The most fundamental question is, where is your bikini? Oh, it's the day's still early, don't worry. I'll be in it later and the sun's getting hot. I'm going to want to dip in the pool and see, so... Oh, okay, 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 so you're definitely going to go and have a, a swim in there. Hell yes. George and I'm talking to Sharon and they're here at the event in Margaret. Oh my gosh, what a long place to be for people to go and have fun. Uh, I'm going to start with Sharon. Sharon, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Now, Sharon, the simple question is, how far did you come to get here? Well, uh, I live in London and I came from East Ham, East London. Okay, where did you get your coach from? Uh, from uh, Romford, yeah. McDonald's. Yeah, that's where I got our coach from, all the way up to here. Okay, have you been to one of these events before? Oh, yes, I have last year. Uh, but last year was a bit miserable, it was raining throughout, but this one is wow, this is nice, the sun is out, so we're enjoying ourselves. All I can say, I love your outfit, I love whatever you got, it's awesome, it's awesome. I've also got George. Good. George, how are you doing? I'm good, man, how are you? 
Very well, very well. Um, you are tuning into Power Chat TV. We are a Ugandan channel that promotes Ugandan events, and that is it, really. Okay. Um, you can find us on Facebook, YouTube, online, wherever it is, you'll find us there. Um, how are you finding the event? It's, it's very good, actually. Um, I was a bit, I, I was a bit worried when you know when, when when we set out, it was raining, it was damp, and you know. But as soon as it's almost the sun made an, an appointment for us to, for us to be here with this. Eh? As soon as we got here, it was bam. <laughs> it was very good. Yeah, yeah let's hope the sun keeps up and uh, doesn't disappoint us. Yeah, I think it, I, I, um, it looks cloudy, but I think it's going to it's going to be good. It's going to be a good do. It's going to be a good day. Yeah. Um, George, how far did you come to get here? Uh, from East London. Yeah, it's, um, it took about two hours to get here. Okay, so you know that you're a Londoner then? Yes, yeah. yeah. We want none Londoners here. I'm well, only joking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, George, have a good day. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, How yeah. Where did you come from? I come from Croydon. Croydon. I am from Croydon. Okay. Which part yeah. of Croydon? <laughs> I don't want people to stalk me. I'm a lawyer by profession. Uh, I do immigration law, that's my, special, that's my specialism. So anyone that's got issues with immigration, family, and all kind of things, that's my expertise. Okay, if they want to find you, how would they find you? Um, I've got a website, www.quimayanja.co.uk Sorry, that's pmayanja.co.uk Qui, Q-U-W, then Mayanja. Q U double E. She corrects me. Yeah. Is this your partner? This is my wife. Oh, your wife? <laughs> <laughs> We've got a husband and wife here. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm being corrected all the time too. So, so we, we, we've got that again. It's Q Q U E E Mayanja dot co dot uk. Or you can just call me direct on my number on my mobile. I can give my mobile if you don't mind. Yeah, go for it. It's zero seven nine three double nine four eight two zero seven. Could you repeat that, please? Uh, 079-399-48207. All right. All you Ugandans out there, if you've got issues to do with migration, to do with family, whatever you got and you want a lawyer to help you out in sorting your issues out, please contact Mr. George over here. Mayanja. Mayanja, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. DJ Bonds, what's happening? I'm having a fantastic time. I'm happy to be here with uh, Pow Chat, Pow TV. To, you know, to, to enjoy myself. Ah, 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 ah. To the Pow Chat, to Pow TV, to be there, your Pow Chat. And the Nice, all right, it's all right, it's all right, it's fun, it's fun, we're happy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, I'm actually having a good time. I'm here, you know, on Margaret Beach. Uh, on Solo International uh, organized beach party uh, with my entire family as well as the DJ family and the entertainment family including yourselves. We're having a great time, you're having a great time. Now, what got you involved in uh, an event like this? Uh, I'm a family man and I believe, you know, I need to, you know, involve my family in what I do. I love music. I love entertainment. And what better to do than, you know, bring them out on a beach party where you have music provided by DJs like myself, promoted by promoters like myself, and, you know, on the seaside. Yes, I mean, uh, I've got to say, you know, being uh, the few black people here, I'm sure look, the guys are quite amazed how many black people are actually on the beach today. Yeah. Um, um, uh, uh, are you going to be spinning some tunes at some point today? I hope they give me a chance because, you know, I, I've got a few, you know, uh, tunes I want to spin, you know, uh, especially, you know, uh, to my mom, you know, she likes a bit of uh, old school, Chidandali style, you know. And then, you know, uh, you have, you know, the other people, you know. Uh, Wait a minute, Where, where's your mom? Where's your mom? Uh, she's uh, over there. <laughs> it's a big beach, and hey. there's a lot of black people, yeah. and very few white people. Do you know what we're black people? We have fun. 
Yeah, Ugandans in London <laughs> are on the beach having fun. It's not only in Entebbe. <laughs> anyway, um, apart from that, anything else you need to say? Um, I mean, if people want to get in touch with you, how can they find you? Uh, DJ Bones, um, I'm a DJ, you know, they can find me on, on Facebook, uh, DJ Bones. Uh, how do you, how do you, how do you spell that? How do you spell that? I D double E J A Y B O N Z DJ Bonds. I am the managing director of uh, Tusha Entertainment. It's a company that I, uh, you know I utilize to promote events I do. Uh, but at the same time, I'm also uh, running another company, yeah. online company, to promote Ugandan artists, be it DJs, musicians, artists bloggers uh, and that is www.ug number two ube.com ugtube that is my next venture if you have any talent and you don't know how to promote it holla guys dj bonds is here to promote you if you're a musician you're a dj you're a talent if you've got any talent you go and you think hey i need someone to know now if if you promote them how would you promote people? How 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 do you do it? I th you know, it's about enhancing what people have. If you have a song and you give it to me to play on a set, I can play on a set and it stops there. But you know, I educate that you know instead of just giving it to one DJ, how about you know enhancing your online social media contacts? You know, uh, do it this way. Instead of uh, sending it to one email account, yeah. put it on a platform that can actually yeah, yeah, yeah. get to other accounts. Do you know what? We're digging this. I mean, you've got, at the moment here, you've got people like um, MC Mose, you've yeah. got VJ LJ, you've yeah. got uh, Biggs Holiday, the, the G Streetwise crew, yeah. you've, you've got Paddy D. I mean, how do these guys, how can they make money from music? I, 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 you know, it, it all starts from the passion. Yeah. Making money is down to you. If you want to make money from music, you know, uh, you have to have a, a formula. I don't, I don't dictate that formula for you. You know, everyone has their own. But you have to reach out to the community, uh, to your clientele. To give an example, you know, uh, TushaEntertainment.com has 30,000 subscribers. Uh, you put your song on there, it's going to be watched by and their friends, and their friends. It's, it depends on what you want to do going forward. Well, all I can say is that we need to support our musicians, yes. UK based, yes. because Ugandans in Uganda have somehow made it and they are well known around. You know, well, the, the big ones, you know, the, the main ones like, you know, Chameleon and Sh Shiba yeah, and all yeah. these people. But the, the UK artists who are from Uganda yeah. tend not to get, you know, I don't know, about, I don't know about whether it's true. They tend not to get their music airplayed from DJs here or DJs in Uganda. Especially, they, they, they tend to play other Ugandans who are from Uganda, but their music here, I mean, there's a lot of guys making music. I mean, MC Moza brings out mu you know new yes, tunes every yes. so often. Yeah. All these other guys, and you know, you know, we need to support these guys. You know? Of course, you know, I, I, I think you know, as as uh, UK best DJs, we support all Ugandan music. Period. Uh, as UK best artists, uh, they need to realize that they cannot compete directly with Ugandan best yeah, yeah. artists. Ugandan best artists do this for a living day in, day out. UK best artists do this as a by the way. So there's no direct comparison and you cannot blame the DJs for not playing their music. Because, you know, uh, if they have to work and they don't, you know, give the DJs that latest truck, it won't get played. But it's, it's, it's a matter of DJs asking these guys to give us your music. Or is it the guys coming to you saying, here's our music playing? I think, you know, you'll find that, you know, the, the Ugandan artists are more direct. They're in the studio every day. They're performing, you know, a wedding, concert, wherever, you know. And they're li literally, they're online every day pushing out their material. Well, as the UK-based artists, like I said, 
you know, uh, they have a lot more to do. Uh, if they were to create a, a formula where they can make this material available to all other DJs, uh, then, you know, I, I think we'll make it more viable. Do you know what, you know, what I've, I'm sorry to put you on the spot there, DJ Bonds. Uh, the, the, the only thing is because we're such a small community in uh, UK, yeah. And there's a lot of guys who are trying to make some music. Yeah. And it's really good that you're supporting them. Yeah. And I hope other DJs can do the same and support these guys. Because uh, really, we can, you know, we can make money, you can make money, we can all make money yeah. where we are. It's just a matter of supporting each other wherever we are. Oh, no, no, you know, I, I think we, 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 can, we can all prosper. You know, it, it, you know it, it's, it's actually you know, promoting Uganda music. I retract, you know, a step back. Uh, the Ugandan UK based artists have a lot of opportunities available to them to uh, exploit compared to their Ugandan based counterparts. And I don't feel that has even been touched. DJ Bonds. Palcho. Once again, we're uh, speaking to uh, a very lovely young lady called Sarah. Sarah, how are you doing? Hi, I'm very well, thank you. Having a good time. Absolutely. Obviously, the music they're playing. You know what? Personally, yeah. I'd rather them play Ugandan music till we leave. Um, I know. I like the variety because it's music for everyone, so it's good. I like it. Ugandan, Western, Caribbean. It's all good. No, I'm going to be biased and say I want Uganda. Yeah, but Uganda is also an inclusive country, so we're embracing other cultures as well as celebrating Uganda. So I la I'm not biased. I'm biased. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, how are you finding the event going? It's really good. It's my first time um, to come to attend, so it's nice. The weather's great. The music is good. Everybody's relaxing, and so it's starting to kind of interact a bit more. So it's so um, unfolding to be a nice day. I'm with part of the Youth Forum, Uganda Youth Forum. Uh, you've got Caroline. Caroline, she's, she's always here. We're always interviewing Caroline. My name is Caroline Vayo. I'm also with Kins. Linda, she's a, she's a part of Kins, a restaurant in North London. Oh my God. The food is awesome. Anyway, um, Linda, welcome. Hello, everyone. It's good to be a part of this at last. Finally, Linda, um, we're going to say, before, before we go to Linda, Caroline has something to say, Caroline. Um, I just want to say, today has been a great day. It's been a great community day. And we are now taking responsibility as a Ugandan community to know each other and building fruitful generations. And I'm very happy for today because everyone's gathering and having a peaceful congregation right now and knowing each other. For the Youth Forum, we hope to see you on the 19th of July of this month for business networking at King's Restaurant, Upton Lane. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, uh, one minute, one minute. One minute. Ladies, look, Carol, and she looking good. <laughs> and your niggas can do nothing for you. Right, right, right. Yeah. Now this is Linda. Linda. Because they're loyal. Oh, <laughs> hello. Linda, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Like I said, um, it's good to be a part of this. I am a part of the youth forum with um, Caroline, and like she said, it's good for the integration, and it's good. It's a great day today, to be honest. Awesome. And we just like to see the older generation, the younger generation looking up to something, something a bit patriotic, something you can hold on to. Yeah, but also... Good. Wait, you're talking about patriotic. Look, I've got my Ugandan, Ugandan top. <laughs> where's, where's, I where's, actually, I want one of those t-shirts. I wanted where's, to say Uganda. Yes. I'm, I'm wearing a print, but I want Uganda. We want you too. Yes. Yeah. Now, now, obviously, um, you um, yeah. run a res you run a restaurant yeah. in North London. Yeah. Could you give us a full address and how people can find you on Facebook and all the rest of it? Oh, that's great. Um, we, well, I have my family restaurant. It's called Kins Restaurant and Bar. It's 
place based at 132 Upton Lane, that's Forest Gate, E79LW, and we're selling all East, East African. I tried to promote Bantu people, I think we're all one in terms of East, so we do. No, 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 no. We do. I know you're trying to go, we all one, no. We are. I know we're all black. But our speciality, obviously, is Ugandan food. It's Ugandan food. Come get some matoke, come get some everything. Katogo, everything you can wish for. Great can, can customer you, service. I was going to say, can you give us a, a list of what you serve? Well, we're well known for our mochobo. We've got the largest fried tilapia fish you can eat. It's a family of four, basically, at a great price. OK, um, how are you finding the event? Great. I'm here with my family. I'm here to represent. At being Ugandan and enjoying it, definitely. Actually, Ugandan Rwandese, I am. Okay, I'm gonna ask you. Um, first of all, where's um, where's your bikini? It's underneath. Talking about you know about bikini, yeah, which is. Okay, I'm gonna get in there. Are you gonna swim? Unfortunately, no, not today. But I will dip my toes in. <laughs> I don't want to get the hair wet. <laughs> you see, black women and their hair. You better not mess around with it. By the way, what I want to say is Pow Chat TV is doing an incredible job in the community. All of you out there, if you see Pow Chat TV on YouTube or wherever you access it, please support Child Pow Chat TV. We need these type of people in the community. All right. At 19th of July, King's Restaurant, Upton Lane. Please do come. We're having fun. What? Sorry to cut you off. We can what, two ladies in the between you. No, keep going, keep going. I just want to say anybody that's looking to as a young entrepreneur looking to start a business, this is a perfect opportunity to launch yourself. So Kins Restaurant the 19th, definitely be there. All right, I know which one advertise the 19th, but hey, Carol, where's your bikini? She don't need one, look at the shorts. I tell you what, people, we're going to be dancing, having a good time. I've got and the my. After party is at Kin's Restaurant, obviously. Oh, wait, after party? Yes, the after party is at Kin's Restaurant and Bar. Come and enjoy great customer service, great food, drinks that you couldn't imagine at great uh, prices. Are we, get it? Are we going to get discounts? For the first half an hour, it will be happy hour. Okay? That's why. Not happy hour, now. Happy lemon hour juice. For the first half an hour. Half happy price. Hour. And a yeah. drink. Half price for the first half an hour. Bananga, bananga, bananga. Hey, we're having a good time. It's a good time. It's good. It's happening. It's hip. It's hap. Linda, thank you very Straight. much. Lazuma. Tell me, Sila, how have you found the event? Oh, the event is very good. Yeah, I always enjoy coming here. It's a pleasure. So, somebody who's not Ugandan, um, how do you find the Ugandans here? It's very friendly, very outgoing. They can just socialize to anybody. They're very good too. They look after each other and then they look after any outsider as well. Well, so Masila, um, how did you find out about the event? Through a friend. <laughs> Are they Ugandan? Uh, Rose Makongo, she's so good to me and then like she always invites me to this event every year. So I always attend this event every year. So would you recommend it to your friends? Of course I will recommend it to my friends. Everybody is welcome to join and then it's a good fun and then the food is good. Everything is good. The people are so lovely. I could see you're definitely in the summer spirit with your full bikini kit on. Well done. Thank you very much. Not, <laughs> not, not many ladies have actually taken the effort to wear there. Have you swam in the uh, sea? Oh, well, yeah, 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 I have. No, I, th I don't think you're, you're telling the truth for your life. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'm, honestly, I have. I have. So you've been in there and you've been cold? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All I can say is well done. Thank, Thank you, you very much for everything. And then nice, you pick up Uganda, people, they're lovely. And Kenya people, South Africans, Zimbabwe, everybody should come and join. No, only Ugandans. Oh, you just, everybody you've can just join. been, you've just been temporarily invited. Yes. Do not come back next year, please. Oh no, I will come back. <laughs> with more. <laughs> I've been here last year, and then I'm coming back this year. <laughs>
<laughs> don't come back next year, please. <laughs> okay, then, no problem. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Tommy. <laughs> All right, then, thank you. This again, the Kula was a young sea. It was a long time, and could they go? I'm sunny from one, no one, Pangula, the Stella, the Kirida. Once what is about, I live as a son, never come back, I'm going to be called. We're here, Ghana, if you are love, we are Ghana, we are Mutasanida, Catisiba Matuko. Thank you for coming tonight, you know what? Thank you for supporting Solo Entertainment. The next beach party is on 30th of August. Solo. Solo Entertainment. Solo, man. But you Beach party. We're talking to the one and only. DJ Mark Pro. DJ Mark Pro, what's happening? Uh, nothing much. We're just having fun at the beach, Market Beach. It's all about fun. Now, you've been blazing some tunes. Yeah, I mean, how did you get to know about this event? Um, Solar Entertainment um, contacted me. She told me about the event. And I got, into, you know, um, uh, basically, I got interested. So I told her, you know, I'm going to be part of it. Now, how does it feel to have Ugandans get together like this and have a good time? Basically, I feel good when all Ugandans come together and we socialize, we interact. It's a good thing. Like, when we come together on the beach and we have fun, it's really very good for the community in the UK. Do you know what? You are known not only in Uganda but in UK here. I mean, what, what, is, what, what is the secret to your... Uh, I won't say success, but to your, to your, to your known dome, you know, I mean, we've seen a lot of your videos on YouTube. You're getting hit after hit after hit after hit. You know, what, what is it? What, what have you got others that ain't got? Um, basically, it's all about promoting Ugandan music in the diaspora. I want to promote the Ugandan music in the diaspora, and that's the trend that I ex-started. I want to promote music. Not only music, but music from the Ugandan community. When I promote Ugandan community, that's the trend I got. That's where people got to know me. Yeah. So I'm happy that I got that trend. Everyone is doing, we're doing nights, Kampala night, Ugandan night, whatever. But it's all about that we started playing Ugandan music in the UK and everyone gets to know where. So I'm feeling happy that everyone is getting to the, you know, get into that thing. I mean, what are the challenges have you come across? Regarding, I mean, there's a lot of DJs out there who would like to be in your shoes. I mean, what are the challenges have you come across? Um, as you know, um, I've been in business for, for a long time, like 14 to 15 years. That the new people coming up, the new DJs coming up with a new trend, new stuff, new ideas. So basically, coping up those new DJs is not easy. You know, they're young age, we are old enough, but we try to fight. Not to keep on the stage, you know, the same level. It's not easy, but yeah, we keep it up, bro. Um, how do you find DJing in London or UK and DJing in Uganda? Uh, DJing in Uganda is very easy because it's, it's only one community. It's the Ugandan community. A few people that turn up from like north, south or south. But in the UK, you DJ for different people from different countries. People come from... The, North America, South Africa, um, Asia, they come from Africa, so it's very challenging, but we cope up anyway. My DJ Macro, thank you so much for uh, your time. Um, Shuffle, shuffle, come on. It's, it's now. It's the same feeling. I know. If you don't know, now you 